But to carry something on for eight years is, is fucking terrible. It's barbaric, basically, to do it. And not just doing it with having an affair, but doing it to your brother. Do you know what I mean? When somebody's trying to act squeaky clean. So it can, it can be difficult. So I don't know how what, you actually, what you've actually went through to still be here telling the tale. It must be fucking well, difficult. I mean, never really. that Stuff like that has never really crossed my mind because of my journey of my life. It's... it's 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 strengthened me mentally as I've gone on. Yes, it was difficult times, but you know you have people. You probably couldn't have done it without Will Miller, my friend Daniel. Without them, especially when it first happened, when I went to Will's and with his wife Michelle and his family, it was such like a sanctuary for me. And it was just yeah, Will's been like a brother for me for like 20, 25 years now. So, and I've got a good friend, Daniel, who's a strong friend. So you need them strong people, but family wise, there was nothing. So when that came out, your message fucked off to Marbella? Yeah, Matt so Clifford. She sold the story? Matt Clifford. So she never even gave you the heads up. The no. woman's been fucking you around for eight years with I'm, your brother. She sold the story, fucked off to Spain, and you have to read that in the paper? A mum brought the paper at six o'clock in the morning. What was going through your mind? Just shock. Just shock. What couldn't you? Just shock. It took probably about four or five years to properly get over. This is why I couldn't, I wouldn't talk about it. Or, but now I don't, I talk about it. Probably mostly just to annoy people. Because it, so it keeps on coming up, keeps on coming up. This kid, they had eight years to think about the consequence and repercussions. Well, He's fucking waking some, woken someone up, but he didn't want to wake up because I was quiet. I was settled down and yeah, I just do things now just to piss people off and there's nothing you can do about it. But to do that is like, <clears throat> to have all that money, to have all that fame, you could fucking, you could be getting any bud. You could be doing what the fuck you're doing. You could get hookers up to your room and telling them to fuck off. But to do that to your fucking blood, to do that to your brother, and I'm sorry to disrespect your kid's mum, but both of them are wrongings for doing that, brother. Do you know what You're I mean? Six months pregnant. And while you were still sleeping with him? And then the weekend after we come back and get married, he's my... Yeah, so it just went on and on. Have you spoke to Ryan's missus? Because she must have went through a tough time as well. Is yeah. it Stacey? Yeah, yeah, but she, yeah, she probably... No, she stuck it out as long as she could. Let's, let's be right. She, she stuck it out as long as she could because the amount of shit she had to put up with. And I don't really get, didn't really get on with her. Didn't really dislike her, just didn't really get on with her, didn't really... But, you know, no one's deserves to be put through shit like that. No one. So she stuck it out as long as she could, and I'm glad she's happy now. You know, Max, I, I don't really know Max too well, but he's a really nice lad. He comes from good stock, so I'm glad she's happy. Yeah, that's the main thing. Mm. So what was your life like once it all broke out? How was it to be to get be around the kids and stuff and and try and keep the pieces together? And try and that's keep yourself together. That's the only thing I concentrate on. That's the only thing I concentrate on now. That's the only thing that's on my mind is you, you've got three children. That's the only thing that I worry about. And the sad thing, and he's never apologised. Not really. That's <laughs> fucking sad, man. I've not really seen any of them, you know. And I was like, probably seen them twice in 10 years. But that will still break your heart because what I can see with you is the sensitivity as well. That you would, there's no no matter what's happened, I believe that you would try and put all the pieces together just to have a family yeah. home. Why? why? <laughs> but they obviously think I'm that bad. I'm not that bad. Don't beat up women. Don't cheat on people. Don't do that shit anymore. I'm a grown man. Because your brother was in the papers again. Was it last year? For, I don't know if he was fighting with his missus, but you called him O.J. Simpson. Yeah, that was just... Ting. You know what? It was, it, was a, it, was tongue a, and cheek. it was tongue and cheek, but when I thought about it, I thought, you know what? This isn't a subject he should be fucking joking about and messing about with. So I deleted it, and it, I wish I'd never done it. But that was only because we say, well, he's murdered someone. Oh, I'm dealing with facts. He didn't get done for murder. He got off of it. But he was a football player who beat up women. Do you think there's a lot of more stuff get swept under the carpet? No comment. <laughs> so going through all that then when it all came out, because obviously we had Mrs. Prancing about and Big Brother and stuff, and it must be so difficult because it's not just a normal affair for someone. Your stuff is worldwide press. So every time you walk along the street, I go out the boozers, do you feel as if people were looking at you, talking about you? 
Yes, but you've got to realise I've been dealing with this now for 30 years, so it's just like water for ducks back. And what would you have done if you'd seen him a couple of weeks after it? Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Difficult one, isn't it? Yeah. And now your mum, your mum's still not spoke... If I'd seen him walking on the street, I would have run him over. Yeah. No doubt about it. And your mum's still not spoke to you since? No. no. So why are you getting the blame? As if you've done something I'm, wrong? I'm, you know, I supposedly talk to the press, I do this, I tell stories. It's all crap. It's all crap. The amount of people that I know, it's just crap. Just crap. So they believe whatever they want to believe. You know, it, I think it really goes deeper, deeper from, you know, I'm a dad's kid and she's his. How's it looking back and all bringing back? Cause it's, does it not feel as if it was still yesterday for you or have you kind of, because it's the same shit no matter if you're doing interviews, people are always still going to talk about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Even but, being yeah, here, how does that, yeah, but, how do you think about it? Like think, I don't really anymore. If I don't really think about it. I'll think about it now because we're having a chat about it, but I'll go out, I can put things in a box and just leave it there. Mm -hmm. Obviously people think, well, yeah, but you're going to have to deal with stuff. I have dealt with it, but now it's in the box and I can put it away. Do you miss all the family? Mm, it's been that long now, no. You've kind of blocked it all yeah, out. Yeah, I've got three kids, I've got three kids to worry about. They've not even met my six-year-old son and, yeah, not seen my 14-year-old son for, you know, He's going to have to put up with this same shit because he has a surname same as me. That's all it is. They see gigs because there's no gigs he's about. It's only our name. So you're obviously related to him and he's going to put up, going to have to put up with the same shit. How many kids have you got? Three. How do you protect your kids from this? Because when they go to... Well, you just got to school them as best you can. You're going to get idiots trying to wind you up. If you let them wind you up, then that's what they want and they've won. You've just got to keep on... Drilling that down to him. My Do daughter, she's 20, 21. She's got a different name, so she kind of gets away with it. So, but my two boys, they're, they're going to have to deal with it. Yeah, Mrs. Is it Natasha? She was in the papers four years ago saying that she would have you back or she's working to get you back. Was that bullshit? No, yeah, no. She's, she's, we have a good relationship now. Good. We have a good relationship. We, you know, she's got a 14 year old son who, who plays off each other, so we can't be fucking messing about. We've got to be in sync and. Yeah, that's the most important thing. I put everything else to side because, you know, it's you've got to try and stop it affecting as them as much as possible. Do you think she was manipulated and kind of groomed to because of Ryan's stature? No, the end? no. She, 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 I could name 10 footballers that she'd been with. Did you know this at the time or was it after? No, it was after. One of them, and I'm with, some, after it all happened, we went to Portugal and I'm with two naughty lads and as I've walked in one of the bars one of the guys is stood right behind the door with his mate I've walked to the bar and as I've walked to the bar I've turned and all you can see is the door shutting <laughs> and there you go. that's nuts that was Phil Bardsley what was that so that was yeah. two that was it was what about Dwight York Phil Bardsley knew about Dwight Phil but Phil Bardsley uh, Danny oh, you go on and on how the fuck did you, how did, uh, did you know this then? No, no. But after that? No. Was it kind of a relief? Like, even though it's sick, but was it yeah. kind of, do you know what? Well, I've kind of fucked up, but at the end of the day, you've got three the beautiful, you get three beautiful. The ironic bit was, is she's turned into what I was. Mm -hmm. She was just cheating, lying, and that was me. So it's kind of calm in a way. You can't believe in something, not expect it to hit you. Yeah. So that's the way, kind of way I look at it. You can't treat the way women, you can't treat the way women the way you have and not expect it to come back and bite you in the ass. Yes, it was a big fucking bite in the ass, but that's you know, not just a big bite, fuck. No, 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 but that's, taking your whole ass off, man. But that's the way I looked at it, and mm. it's made me a better person for it. And you get three beautiful kids. Yeah. Ryan had her pregnant as well, is that correct? And had her got an abortion, is that true? And it was in the papers? Yeah, I don't. No? Yeah. Yeah. What about all the kids and stuff like DNAs and that? Is, no, that was, was that, that was that was the first thing I did. Was that? In the week, yeah. How hard was that then, waiting for your results? Yeah, no. Because I just you, just, you know, my instincts yeah. is really good. You just know. But and then that would have been really 
that would have been probably more mentally damaging. Push you over the edge, you think? Yeah, yeah. You've been through some shit, mate. That is some heavy stuff, it is. But people don't realise that some men can't look, take no, it. No psychiatrist, no help, no nothing, just friends just talking it through. So maybe it would have... I would have healed quicker if I did talk to professional people, but yeah. Was that a lonely time for you? Uh, parts, yeah. Parts. When did you come back from Spain? Oh. When was the first time you spoke after oh. it came out? Uh, probably about 10 days. Because they're all scared to come. They're all scared because they all thought that I'm a, I'm a madman, I'm crazy, I'm going to kill them all. Oh, it was quite calm, very calm. Because if you lose your temper, then no, you could have went on a yes. killing spree. Yeah, numb to it. Yeah. How much did she get paid for the story? Do you know? I don't, I pass. I don't know. I don't know. So she's made money from. Oh yeah, your 100, misery. Hundred odd grand, anyway. Yeah. But the main objective is he's are building bridges now, which is oh, amazing. We all fucking we're, make mistakes. People yeah, do grow up. We find that. Listen, I can switch, and I'll. I can. Say what I want to say, but yeah, in the most we're fine. How long were you seeing each other for? Uh, eight years. So just from the start of your 2003 to 2011. Like, what about like Christmas parties, parties, stuff like that? Was there never any thing in your mind that you think he's fucking up to something? Did you know he cheated before or with other women? <laughs> yeah, were you doing it together or anything? Uh, well, he, this is what I used to thought that he had good friends, but yeah, not not really now because the, the amount of stuff that then the ironic thing is about that is all his friends would do it as well. But the most ironic thing about that, their girlfriends would do it as well because I went out with one of their girlfriends who was in their crowd, so I know what both sides do. So they were all at it. That's fucking nuts. Yeah. Remember the old programme Footballers' Wives? They were all, uh, all at it. They were just all, all fucking each other. This place in Worcester, this is why I don't uh, drink now or socialise anymore. Everyone's shagging everyone. And you could be your mate, but you don't tell him because it's fucking... It's nah, warped. That's, it's warped. That's fucking... Yeah, it's wrong. Rats. I'm uh, thinking, what am I doing? In you this? look at John Terry, what he'd done with Wayne Bridge as well. Do you know what I mean? It's It's sad. It's a sad state of affairs that that can happen, but it just shows you actually what goes on behind closed doors. I got one of his mates saying, Ryan, what are you doing? This is your kid's wife. What are you doing? But no, come in my house. Yeah, I'll have an house for you to do whatever you want to do. It's fucking sad that the fact it's that she was pregnant and, and how the fuck can you do that to your brother? I, I don't get it. Listen, <clears throat> I was a bit of a boy back in the day, but I had some fucking morals. I'd like to think, like... I've done a lot of bad shit, but I've done bad that, that's stuff, some that's some sick fetish fucking degrading. It's just a very very selfish selfish person. Is he a lonely man? Well, he must be. He must be. I'm quite comfortable in, in my own skin in, in, in my own company. This is this this is why it's been no problem in lockdown for me. But. Yeah, people like that have always need to have people around them and pamper them and yeah, it's it's always ne stuff like that's never been for me. To get put up on a pedestal, like people... Yeah, but he deserved to be on a pedestal because his career oh, speaks for player, itself, yeah, yeah. but the medals no one gives a shit about that anymore because we live in a negative world and all people want to talk about is a negative shit. So he's done that, not me. He's ruined his legacy, not me, by fucking doing what he did. He's got the best career in the world. He's he, absolute world-class footballer. But no one will remember that, unfortunately. What what hurt you the most out of all that? Um, all of it. Yeah. Were yeah. you ever suicidal? No. No. Too strong for that. It's just you got kids stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what all oh, things about any any negative thing. Oh, wait a minute. Why would I put more shit on, on my kids? How am I fucking? fuck from my childhood all the shit they've been through and then that it's just be so wrong. why did your mum this on you what 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 is it you've done to that everybody's kind of neglected I, I sell you. stories I do this I do that man can't be trusted it's all crap it's all lies prove it how would you feel if your mum phoned you just now 
Great. See my kids if you want. Yes. I'm not interested so anymore. I'm not really interested. The doors, really interested. the doors are open for her. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really care. I'm not really thinking about it. I've got three children to concentrate on. Yeah. And you've done that, which yeah. is the main thing. Yeah. Fuck, to keep your shit together, mate, honestly. <laughs> I've not, like, fair play. Fair play. And it must be difficult to even bring it back up and bring back a lot of emotions this, and memories. But this is what I mean. It doesn't anymore because after about, it took five years, like five years to get over. What did you do in that five years? Did you ever get back with Natasha? Did you ever... We tried. We then went to Cyprus to Paphos, but it was just mentally, I was like, nah, I can't do this. Too many thoughts going through it. your head. Did it, she though. ever get help? I'm not sure. Do you know what I mean? That I'm She sure. must have, to do all that shit as well, man, she's, that must be difficult. But that'll play she back probably, her mind she as she gets older. Oh, I know she probably regrets it now because she was young and daft and people make daft mistakes, but... How old was she? When she was, when it was happening, probably 21. So she's a very young girl. 22. Seeing someone playing for Manchester United, that is a massive turn on, no matter who it is, no matter who you're married to, but you've still got to have more respect and more morals for yourself and especially your, your man were you married engaged married in 2010 the year before it came out yeah yeah who was your she, best she man said, she said to me she went uh, Will Will Miller yes. so she said uh, when she got married she went to see a, a clairvoyant and she said you'd be you'd be divorced within the year <laughs> <laughs> I need to see that clairvoyant she was bang on <laughs> that's fucked up Rodri that is fucked up mate I don't know how you've managed to pull it all together and on it I, I, I genuinely don't mate like, to have that all over the press and world news and it's fucking nuts mate